In this video I'm going to show you two ways to fix these fingers. One is basically clean up the existing finger and use the clone tool. And the other is I'm going to show you how to draw it from scratch. And I'll go from picture on the left to the picture on the right. Let's use my clone tool. And now it's time to start making fingers. So we're going to choose this fingertip. I'm right out here on the end of the shadow. I'll leave it right where we selected. But this is the middle finger and the tip is a little longer. So we're just going to take a guesstimate of where we want the tip of that finger. Choose the area. Wait a minute. And drag. And two things wrong. The finger's too short, and the opacity's too light. So I'm going to undo it and try it again. Change the opacity, go 80%. Choose the tip of the finger. Middle of the finger would be here. Let's try it out here. I think that looks better. Yeah. And fingers a little narrow looking, but hey. Let's see. Zoom back in. Oops, go to clone tool. Now we're gonna choose. edge Just gonna get rid of the white, take a copy from the shirt right here and right here. So I'm gonna zoom out and take a look just to make sure. They don't look too bad. Let's go back to the clone tool. Choose the shadow between the fingers. Just want to lengthen them a little. Just a light tone in the fingertip. Drag it up. Yeah. We look in here and see a shadow under the pinky and some of the arm right here. So we're going to draw this in, the arm in. Come down here, choose uh, 
That looks pretty good. Choose a suspender. And those fingers look pretty good. The arm looks good. The suspender doesn't look bad. So I'm going to do a file. Save. Okay, uh, fingers are good, shorts good, suspenders good. Just a little goof up on this pinky. So let's zoom in. Clone tool. Brush is too big. Cut it down. Got a bit of a line, the opacity is at 80%. This is well, we're going to pick a tone, so I'm going to pick some skin tone up here in the hand. Select that area. I'm just going to draw her in. Grab the shadow. Okay. Gonna make the opacity just about a hundred. Choose the spot again. Just going to create a finger out of nothing here. Using the shadows I have. Okay, that's long enough on that. I'm going to come over here, keep the same spot selected, come down here, try the spot up here now, no. Keep the same spot.
Okay, when we're zoomed out, it doesn't look too bad. But when we're zoomed in, it looks like a conglomerated mess, especially right in here. But what we did is we've got all our flesh tones in that are right for the finger. So let's go over and grab our heel tool. And choose a spot that's similar in tone. Let's try this. Control click. Come over here. We're going to drag. I'm just going to let it blend. All those colors we put down earlier. Let's move the brush out of the way. And you can see it looks a lot better. Got rid of all the swirls and they kind of go into each other. Go back to the clone tool. By the way, the opacity is at 100%. And zoom out and see what it looks like. And zoomed out this far, it looks like it looks really good. I'm going to zoom part way in. Let's see if you can. So I'm sure this camera isn't picking it up. There. And that looks like a pinky. It's a little white line there and a little white line here. Maybe I'll work on that a little bit. I'll zoom in a little more. Switch back to the clone tool. I'm going to go with this shadow right here. Let's see what it does over here. I'm going to lighten the opacity a little. It's about 65. I think I'll do individual clicks. I'll make it a little more opaque. 47%. That looks really good. I think I'm done. I'll zoom in one more time. Choose a spot near it. And I'm going to hit it quick click. A click. A click. And that's a very realistic looking finger. And that's it for hands and fingers. Head, elbows, knees, and toes, or whatever it is, too. I hope you learned something from this. I hope it helps you out. Thanks for watching. Good luck. Bye.